Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls to strengthen Harkar Tiranga movement. Army recruitment rally under Agnipat scheme to be held for all districts of Nagaland from 7th of September. Two-day Indian Engineers Federation North Eastern Region mid-term come annual council meeting begins at Kohima. And CBSE announces Class 10 and 12 results. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called upon people to strengthen the Harkar Diranga movement as the nation is marking Azadi Gamrit Mahotsav this year. In a tweet, Modi asked people to hoist a tricolour or display it in their homes between 13th and 15th of August. He said this movement will deepen our connection with the national flag. Army recruitment rally under the recently announced Agnipat scheme will be held for all the districts of Nagalin at Pagat Stadium, Rangabaha Military Station, Dimapu, from 7 to 23rd of September. In a press release, PRO Defence Kohima, Lieutenant Colonel Sumit K. Sharma said detailed notification giving out eligibility criteria and QRs are available on www.joinindianarmy.nxc.in. He said online registration for the candidates is open from the 5th of July to 3rd of August. Sharma said that online registration is mandatory for participation in the rally. He said that candidates will be intimated the date of attendance through admit cards 10 days before the rally. Sharma informed that for the present recruiting year, the government has given a relaxation in age by two years. The PRO said the scheme also allows bonus marks for candidates who have qualification from government-recognized ITIs. A two-day Indian Engineers Federation North Eastern Region, INDEF, NER, midterm come annual council meeting began at Kohima today. Engineering chiefs, chief engineers and engineers from the eight North Eastern states are participating in the meeting. Speaking at the inaugural session of the meet, Minister for Rural Development, Mitsubo Jamir, said the INDEF is an apex body of conglomeration of nearly two lakh engineers from the state, central and private sector services, along with those self-employed, are equally contributing to the nation-building process in various capacities that is making our great nation moving ahead and keeping pace with all the developed nations. He said as engineers, they should know that through their selfless and brilliant minds, our country is forging ahead of the so-called developed countries technologically. Jamil said engineers directly contribute to the well-being of the society and that their contribution to make the life better to the world is well recognized and appreciated by all. He said their contribution will definitely impact the government's initiatives in the Northeast and their contribution will be the deciding factor on the success or failure of these initiatives. He said with the ACTIS policy, engagement of association of Southeast Asian nation is becoming a central pillar of India's foreign policy direction and Northeast states plays an important role as physical bridge between India and Southeast Asia. He said even though the Northeast region is at a central point of development and progress, the region lacks in many essential development activities. To this, Jamir said, engineers from the Northeast region must ensure that the local needs must be taken priority over everything else. Jamir further emphasized that with the rapid progress in technological advances, the present Engineers should ensure to protect environment and nature by adopting innovative system which will not only protect but also improve and benefit our natural environment and resources. The Central Board of Secondary Education today announced Class 10 and 12 results. In Class 10 result, the overall pass percentage is 94.40%. The pass percentage of girls is 95.21% and pass percentage of boys is 93.80%. In class 12, the pass percentage is 92.71%. The pass percentage of boys is 91.25% and the pass percentage of girls is 94.54%. In both class 10 and 12, the girls have done better than boys. 
Government today say that the doctor population ratio in the country is better than the standards set by the World Health Organization. In a written reply to the Lok Sabha, Minister of State for Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Bharati Bravin Bawa said that the doctor population ratio is in the country is 1 is to 834, whereas WHO standard is 1 is to 1000. The minister further said that the government is taking all possible measures for increasing the availability of doctors in the country, which include increasing UG and PG medical seats. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Chief Minister Nipirio, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Budden and Speaker Nagaland Legislative Assembly Sharingan Longkama have condoled the demise of ex-minister Vejoy Vero, who passed away this morning at Kohima. Vero is survived by his wife, six children and three grandchildren. In a condolence message, Rio described the departed leader as a fine gentleman and a man of conviction who always worked tirelessly for the welfare of the people. The Chief Minister said Vero was known as an upright man and a righteous leader who served in various capacities in a number of government departments. Pardon said Vero was a man of vision and leader committed to the welfare of the people. He said Vero's illustrious life and contributions will continue to guide us. Speaker Longkama said, Our state, especially the people of Chakasang community, has lost a very committed leader who always worked for the betterment of the poor and the downtrodden sections of the society. The speaker said, Late Vero's contributions shall always be recognised and remembered. Led Vejoy, Vero was elected to the 4th Nagaland Legislative Assembly from 19 Peck Assembly constituency. He was further re-elected in 1982 and 1987 from the same constituency. Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority, with the support of District Project Associate Kohima, Home Guards, Civil Defence and SDRF and Fire and Emergency Services, conducted a joint mock drill on earthquake and fire safety today at the Directorate of Economics and Statistics. The mock drill was the first of its kind at a directorate level in the state. It was conducted to create awareness and preparedness to ensure the safety of employees and to effectively respond in the event of any disaster. Director Economics and Statistics Nidilho Angami urged the staff to take the drill as an opportunity to learn and experience a new lesson to tackle real-life disaster situations. Deputy Commissioner Dimapu Sachin Jaiswal has been inducted as President of Parat Scouts and Guides Association, PS and GA Dimapu, and Senior STEO Dimapu, Apukla Longama, as District Secretary yesterday at DC's Conference Hall Dimapu. Addressing the gathering, the DC said that BS and GA is not in new to him as he was part of Parat Scouts and Guides and NCC in his student life. Jake's Wall assured to extend support and cooperation. Deputy Commissioner Beren Vinit Kumar has directed all property owners at Mainamsi, Heningula, Ngwalwa, New Jaluki, and Ngwario villages from design kilometer 148 plus 000 to 152 plus 240 and design KM. 156 plus 800 to 163 plus 592 to vacate the properties to enable the execution of works. The DC said all affected property owners who are yet to claim property damage compensation are also directed to report to the Office of the Deputy Commissioner for Physical Verification during office hours starting from 22nd of July 2022 with documents. Nagaland today recorded 20 new COVID-19 cases, of which 12 were detected from Dimapu, 7 from Kohima and 1 from Mugukchung. 11 have recovered from the infection, 5 from Kohima, 4 from Dimapu and 2 from Beren. Presently, there are 92 active cases, 35,675 total confirmed cases and 33,319 recovered cases in the state. And now 20 news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls to strengthen Harkar Diranga movement. 
Army Recruitment Rally under Agnipat scheme to be held for all districts of Nagaland from 7th of September. Two-day Indian Engineers Federation North Eastern Region Mid-term CAM Annual Council Meeting begins at Kohima. And CBSC announces Class 10 and 12 results. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.